were fantastic on Saturday Night Live. Thank Did you, you have fun? so much. It was great. I yeah. always have fun in that show. It was, it was great. What happened? <laughs> you gotta pull up the You have to pull up your dress. I'm all covered. I mean. What are you, why are you telling her, look what she's on the cover of. <laughs> She's covered compared to this. <laughs> Which, by the way, so was there no budget for clothes on the shoot, or was there a stylist that day that just said, just put something on so I have a job? Let me just put a jacket on you. Actually, this jacket was probably the, the most stylish piece there. Everything else was like a tank or underwear or boxers or right. Nothing. So, so uh, <laughs> they had nothing there, and yeah, then that they had empty hangers. Yeah, and options. So you had. Uh, first of all, uh, you you look great, and this uh, you're clearly very Thank comfortable you. being naked. Here's another shot of you inside. So you're completely comfortable like this, right? Nobody's ever completely comfortable naked all the time in front of strangers and you know photographers that you don't know. But it's a bit of a character that yeah yeah you have to get into and. You get into a place where you zone out from everything around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and you also, I don't know if it was in this article or in Vogue, you're on the cover of Vogue looking beautiful. And I love your hair, by the way. Thank I think you. your hair looks amazing. <laughs> um, but I don't know if it was which magazine it was that you talked about that it's just um, because you're from Barbados and, it, and it's a different kind of culture. It's a different, that you're not so hung up on sexuality and it doesn't make you so. And in, in America, everybody is. Yes, and I, I think. I just think it's the way people in the Caribbean move um, their body, especially when you know it's time to dance and stuff like that. And I think on stage, I kind of move in that way, and, and it comes off in a sexual in way. In a sexual, and it's just really moving to music. Yes. But it's just it comes off like that, yes. and people get freaked out yes. about it, like or excited about it's it, a or little whatever. Overthought. The, <laughs> the tattoo that that you have right there is uh, in honor of your grandmother, right? Yes. And and so that is that the newest tattoo you have? It's the newest one. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's one of the most painful ones as well. Really? It was. Um, yeah. It took forever, and I kept having to ask for numbing cream and numbing spray. It was just annoying, really. It's, it was stinging, it was tickling, and my boobs were out, and it was just awkward. <laughs> well, didn't you know that your boobs would be out if you're doing it <laughs> right there? You're gonna be laying there like that. Just under boob, you know? I didn't expect the whole, but she kept like sneaking and pushing my sweater. <laughs> she was peeping. It was more pain painful because of the area? Yes, the area is yeah. sensitive, and the rib cage, it gets really, uh, it, it could be ticklish. I'm mm -hmm. really ticklish, so. It's almost worse when it tickles than when it hurts because you can't really control what your body does and it's a tattoo, so if it goes off the line, it's like yeah. forever. Yeah, because <laughs> maybe you wanted a ladybug and it turned into that because, <laughs> because of the tickle. All right, we have to take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs>